Welcome to another episode of The Real. My name is Jackson Houston, and this is our first feature is Jero TC Raiders, Hardin County Cup 2023. Central is hosting this event, and the schools that are participating are Central Hardin, John Hardin, North Hardin, Fort Knox, Bullet East, Bullet Central, North Bullet, and LaRue County. Central Hardin has new instructors Sergeant Gregory Gavin and Colonel Michael Anders. Let's see what school Raider team will climb up the ranks. This is our JROTC first Raider competition, the Hardin County Cup. Uh, with the Hardin County Cup, we have a series of schools um, come out and compete for where we have a several different events, the rope bridge, the water can relay, a litter carry relay, and things of that nature. Central Hardin actually has a bit of a streak going and me being a one of the new instructors, I am the Army instructor. We're trying to keep it going with uh, Central Hardin walking off, going home with the trophies. This is my first year here at Central and I'm excited to be here. We've got a lot of students that are excited about this Raider competition today and it's fun to watch them build as a team and develop some leadership. I know they're going to do well in competition with the other schools. We have seven schools here today. We've got North Harden, John Harden, North Bullet, Bullet Central, and LaRue as well as ourselves. And every year we have won the top competition, the top trophy for this award. This is the 13th year that we've done this, and Central has won the top trophy every year. So we're looking forward to doing the same today. Uh, today we're at the Central Hardin High School Raider meet. This is the first meet of the school year. Uh, so we're in JROTC, and we have uh, 83 cadets this year. 31 are on our Raider team. It's, uh, we have a great turnout to, uh, this year. Uh, the kids are all enthusiastic and are really having a lot of fun. Welcome to North Harden High School's Raider Team. Sound off, guys, sound off. <laughs> uh, the team is led by our new instructor, Sergeant First Class, a newly retired as of the 1st of September, um, Gerald Hagen. And uh, he is going to take them through while I uh, sit out here on injured reserve and make sure that we do and take all the training they've been doing since the beginning of the year and give it, they're all in their best out here on Central's Raiders course. Our next feature is by Abby Carroll, and it's about Chef Roger Ramsey and his Educator of Excellence and Best Practice Knowledge Sharing Award, a nomination of Commonwealth of Kentucky Educator of Excellence Award. It's a passion. Um, 
This is actually a second career for me. Uh, first time around, I was a police officer. Uh, as it works out, though, I had a culinary arts degree and I did catering uh, for a number of years uh, for myself. I found out my boss was a jerk. Uh, and the uh, situation changed and things that it presented itself. And Mr. Robbins was in need of a culinary arts teacher and we've known each other, so he asked me, was I interested? And uh, well, I said I was, and here we are. Well, that's tough. I mean, every year the kids are different. Uh, and you're not supposed to have favors, but you do. Uh, and I mean, I, you get attached to the kids, it's great. Um, you know, we've performed in culinary competitions, so we've done fairly well. Um, we've done date nights where, you know, the kids w would invite people in and feed them a, a meal, and that's great. And, uh, it'd be hard to hammer it down. It's, 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 it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. That, that was a surprise, and the way that works is uh, the curriculum we teach is called Pro Start. It's endorsed by the National Restaurant Association. Uh, and then there's a state satellite, Kentucky Restaurant Association, uh, that supports a Pro Start coordinator. And at the time, our Pro Start coordinator was a gentleman named Jim Lyon. Uh, he said passed away, bless his heart. Uh, he was a friend of mine, still does him. But he was one that recommended me to the Kentucky Restaurant Association as an education of excellence, and that was approved, and that was pretty neat. So anyway, Jim Lyon was our, our Kentucky Pro Star Coordinator, and he recommended me to the Kentucky Restaurant Association as an educator of excellence, which was pretty cool. Uh, I learned about that in May when we were at our national Pro Star Invitational Competition. Uh, there were 38 state appointed educator of excellence. Uh, in July, went to a pro star for pro, uh, professional development. And there I learned that aside from being one of the 38 state educators of excellence, which that's hard to say a bunch in a row, I was also one of the four national uh, awarded educators of excellence. Mine was uniquely in the area of best practice and knowledge sharing. Uh, oh, they're, they're nothing alike. Uh, you still, you know, as far as, you know, the food goes, you're still of service to people. That's pretty cool. Uh, but, you know, the, the job duties are just, uh, you have to handle pressure a little bit. <laughs> you get used to loud noises. Uh, it's not always a great work environment. It gets hot up in this kitchen, but I'm not out in the rain now, so that's a plus. But the last 10 years I was police and I was a school resource officer in Central Harden. That's where I found out I was pretty good at hanging out with kids. And uh, that, you know, so when, when Mr. Robbins asked about you, was I still interested in the culinary position? I had experience with kids and I had experience with the food, just had to put the two together. So, uh, you know, if it hadn't been for that platform, having been a school resource officer, uh, then I wouldn't have this platform, which is still you know, culinary arts teacher. I chose the culinary arts pathway because cooking interests me. Uh, it's one of my passions. I like cooking with all the fun people here. They're all really nice, really cool people, and just a great environment to live in. For me, I like making food for people, especially watching their reactions for it. It brings me a lot of joy when I make good food and people enjoy it, and I just decided to make culinary a career. Honestly, the people I'm working with, People I'm working with right now, they are great. Absolutely love working with them. It is a joy every day I come in here to work with them. It makes it all the better. I've always loved cooking and baking my whole life. I think the people, like getting to meet new people from all different schools. As you might have noticed, all these kids have one thing in common. They enjoy the people around them and that's the main thing keeping them in the pathway. Yes, they all love to cook, but Chef Ramsay makes it a safe community for them and they love it and they want to keep coming back. Chef Ramsay is the reason why so many kids want to take the culinary pathway. He wants to see them succeed in class and in life. He was one of the four names to be nominated for the Pro Start Professional Development Educator of Excellence Award, which is a national award that recognizes educators who demonstrate excellence in the classroom with passion, commitment, and creativity. All the students I've talked to said that Chef is one of their favorite teachers they've ever had. Chef Ramsey cares for each and every one of his students and wants to see them all succeed. Our next feature is by Lydia Doty and is about our very own Hardin County Boys and Girls Golf. Central Harden, North Harden, Elizabethtown are all fighting to keep the championship. I wonder which one will keep their title. 
boys are out here playing tonight against Elizabethtown and North Harden in the Harden County Cup. It's a warm evening, but we're doing a great job out here tonight. Uh, it's a pretty night out here at uh, E-Town Country Club. And uh, the boys are doing a great job. Uh, this is round two of the Hardin County Cup. We played at Lincoln Trail two weeks ago, and right now the uh, Bruins are in first place. Uh, we had a big uh, first round, and I think things are going pretty well today. So we're excited. We've got uh, Talon and Rylan and Reese and Sawyer and Ethan and Carson out here tonight, and they're all uh, doing a great job. So we're excited and uh, think we're going to carry a lead through the second round as well. So uh, looking forward to that last round here in about two more weeks where we're going to hoist the trophy. Um, today I uh, played pr uh, okay, uh, didn't have the best start, doubled uh, my second hole, but uh, I did recover after that. I had a shoot 41 today, which isn't the best, which isn't the worst. I did have some ups and downs with my ball striking day, so I um, know what I need to work on, and I can't wait for the next Harden County Cup. I don't even know where to start. The season's been a little up and down, so well, today I shot 41, even through seven. Went double, triple finish. Had a few high 80s, low 70s, just been everywhere. Everything's just, nothing just fell in place at all at once. Just been rough. Practice, keep practicing. That's all I can do. We've had a pretty good season so far, but I'm hoping we can maybe win the region tournament and go from there. Today, didn't play great. Had a few, couple rough holes, didn't really sink anything, uh, didn't make many putts, but could have been worse, and that's about how last time went, so hopefully I can pull it together on the last round of the Hardin County Cup. Overall this season, um, it's been okay. Definitely could have shot lower in a lot of rounds, but none of them have been terrible, so definitely a lot of um, positive things this season overall. My season this so far has been pretty good. I've had some rounds that I've shot pretty well and I've had some rounds that I haven't done so well. It's the sports, what it's gonna be. I had a pretty good round today in the Hardin County Cup. I shot 39. Should have shot lower, I doubled number three, but did pretty well besides that. Season's gone well and that's pretty much it. So far this year, um, we've had a pretty good start to the season. Uh, we're a really young team. Um, we only had three players back from last year that had actually golfed in actual matches before, so uh, the remaining nine players are all brand new. Um, so, you know, right now we're just in kind of that getting them into the you know, routine, uh, trying to get yardages down and, and what kind of clubs they need to use in different situations. Uh, but they're all young, and uh, so that's also, that's also good. I think you know, we're setting a good foundation this year, and hopefully they can continue to stick with it and uh, keep going down the line. Uh, our number one right now is Clayton Shear. Uh, he's a sophomore. Uh, he was tied for first uh, after the first round of the Hardin County Cup. Uh, he shot a 39 up at Lincoln Trail. Our number two is Chris Davila. He's a sophomore. Um, and our three uh, currently is Vicente Garcia. He's a junior. First round out at Lincoln Trail, shot a 39. Um, I was tied for first coming into the second day. Played pretty good. Had a hole or two where I probably could have cut a stroke off, but you know, I'm not mad walking away at 39. And then today, um, I was playing really good. I was like plus three, I think, going into hole seven. Um, hit one a little OB, kind of shanked the driver, and then um, eight had about a 160 shot and hit a club that should go 160, about 190. So, um, don't know how I caught it to do that, but um, I mean, those two holes messed me up. I shot a 44. Um, I'm gonna be a little bit back at first where I was, but I'm only about two, three strokes off, so hopefully just next two weeks come out here and hopefully play some good golf and maybe be back in the top two or three. Uh, it was a pretty bad round, I'm not going to lie, but it was it was fun. And uh, that's my best friend right there, Clay and Shear. Yeah. Thank you. This year is my first uh, first season. I've been playing for about a, about a month, maybe a month, month, and, month and about a week or so. Um, I'm not hitting. I'm not hitting. as great, but um, it's I'm doing pretty good for my starting out. Um, I hope to break 100 on the uh, 18 for, for the season, but um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, so we're really proud of those young guys and our older guys. Play, we're just a couple shots behind them. So it was a great performance for our Central Harden Golf Program, and we're really proud of them. So our girls today are wrapping up right now. Our number one, Addie uh, Johnson, just finished up, and she shot 44 today. She was a little disappointed, but it was a good round for her. Uh, started great, had a couple of hiccups in the middle of the round, and then finished up really well. So really proud of Addie for hanging in there and playing some good golf. Uh, the rest of our girls are out there. I, I'm not 100% sure what they're going to shoot today, but 
Uh, I do know that our, uh, our number four, Chloe Johnson, is having a really good round out there right now. And so uh, really proud of her. She's a freshman on our team, and, and she's playing fantastic golf right now. I think Christine Michael is going to have a good round out there as well. So we're proud of all of our girls today, Meredith Highball as well. And it's, it's going to be a good finish. It's not going to be enough to uh, overtake North Harden, uh, Anna May Atcher. Had an amazing round of golf today, shooting one over par 37. Just not going to catch them. We needed them to have a couple of uh, issues for us. We were down five shots coming into the round. So uh, not going to be enough, but uh, proud of the performance today from the girls. This year, um, I inherited the team because our coach um, had to deploy from last from our coach from last year. Um, it's a privilege that I get to coach my daughter. Um, so we have three juniors this year and one sophomore. They're all returning uh, varsity players. So um, Anna Mae is our number one player and she's continuing to grow and bring the leadership on the team. Um, she's very driven. Um, she's done great things, um, continue to guide them in practice. Uh, and then we have Mallory Matthews. She's also a junior. I mean, she's just very consistent. She's always happy. Um, we need her for motivation on the team and she's just always doing uh, uh, what is needed of her so we appreciate her um, and then we have uh, Emma Bello who is also a junior um, she's our number three um, she is very determined she's you know if you watch her play golf she has just determination she's always out there practicing sometimes I'll even go out and see her on the course after practice practicing so we're super proud of her um, our number four is um, Rebecca Lozano um, she has been playing since she's been a seventh grader and she's just like grown so much I mean she started out playing and, um, and she's already improved well over 20 strokes and so just to see her and she's just proud of herself and just the excitement that she has when she improves just a few strokes every single tournament so I'm just excited to see the growth and just the girls come together even though there's only four players they just come together and it's just um, exciting to see them grow together. I feel pretty good about today I've had a couple birdies which helped me a lot um, but I could work on my chipping definitely before regions and then at the last um, round of the Hardin County Cup I shot 42 and that was not my best day I hit some good shots but I also hit some really really bad shots and this is my like second year like playing golf like fully on this team in the first round of this tournament thing I started out pretty good but I didn't really end my round great and I, I mean I shot okay but today I had some bad holes and then I had some really good holes that made up for it so I ended up with like two strokes better than my last round so I think that's improvement so the first <laughs> the first one I did not do too good because I'm just having like a rough season and today I did better which I'm glad <laughs> so yeah first round of the Harding County Cup, I think I did a lot better because I wasn't as nervous as at my home course. Uh, it was still after school, so I did a little bit, you know, I was a little rough. Same with this one, I did a little rough because it's after school. But I was, feeling, I was like familiar with the course, so I did all right. Um, I only got one stroke higher than I did last time, so it's fine. Yeah. My first round of the cup, I think I played, I, I shot the same thing both times. I. My first round was better. I had one bad hole first round. This one I had two bad holes that really messed me up. But there's always next year, so. My first round of the Harding County Cup, I shot a 53. I think I did pretty well. I started off good, but ended pretty bad. And then today I shot a 51. I started off okay, and then I finished really strong. The first match, I think I played pretty good at Lincoln Trail, but I for sure played better today. And I made much more improvement today than I did on the first match of the season. So I'm really proud of myself of how I played today. Had a couple mess up holes, but I know I can do better. Let's start with the individual results. So um, our individual Hardin County Cup champion this year is Anna May Atcher with a total of 79. I got a break. Good job. Come on, I'm going to do All right. Uh, in second place, uh, there's three people. Three-way tie for second uh, with a total of 88 for the uh, two nines. Uh, Mallory Matthews. Hello. And Addie Johnson. All right. Good job. All right. Um, on the team side, the uh, in second place with a team total over two uh, two nines of 393 is Central Harden. Uh, and once again, 
once again our Hardin County Cup champions with a team total of 374. The Lady Trojans, nice job, North Hardin. <laughs> There you go. Oh, it's heavy. It <laughs> Hello, and welcome to our final feature of The Real. The final feature is The Fall Studio, which is another parody I made of the funny comedy series The Office. But this time, I like to base it off the seasonal holiday at Halloween. There's a lot of tricks and treats filled within the episode, so I hope you enjoy. Oh, everybody's on time today. That five dollar thing worked. Let's see what new we can come up with. What are we doing today, boss? We're going to discuss the new thing. Wow. The treat counter. My favorite scare counter. Y'all ready? Then, who put up the costume reward thing? We just thought since all of us are dressed up, it would be nice to have a little treat at the end of the costume contest. Who's buying that treat? I, I guess we'll corporate call. I think Batman is because he's not even paying attention. He's reading his book upside down and everything. He's a billionaire. So you know what that means, right? Snickers. Uh, Snickers? Because Batman was mentioned in a Snicker commercial, man. That might be before your time. I think it's before your time, too. I really like Halloween. It's one of the favorite times of the year, and also it's the month before my birthday, so I get more treats afterwards. But anyway, uh, I'm dressed up as a banana because it's been time to go bananas. I don't know. It was just a last-minute choice, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> If the boss hasn't made it clear, we're going to be doing a scream and treat counter. So basically how those work in a costume contest at the end. So how they work is if you do your job or do anything decently good, you earn a treat. And no matter how many treats you get is how many points you get at the end of the day. And the scream counter is whoever gets the most screams at the end of the day. So with those both uh, tallied up, with also the vote at the end, because we're going to be voting on index cards of who gets the costume contest, they get a big reward. Now, the boss made it very inconspicuous what the reward is, but I have a feeling that I'm probably going to win it. Oh, I'm so happy for Halloween this year. It's so much fun. I get to dress up as a wizard and do a bunch of wizarding spells with this map and my wand. and. Lydia, it's banana time. Also, I like your librarian costume. Uh, I'm not a librarian. You know, my first year at the studio, I didn't know we were supposed to dress up. But I kind of just found some things, and my face was ugly enough that it would scare everyone anyways. So... Halloween is just my favorite holiday. You get to dress up as characters from TV and movies and books, and I'm dressed up as my favorite superhero, Batman. I mean, Batman is so awesome. He was one of the first comic movies that went big in 1989 with Jack Nicholson as the Joker, and there's so many great books. Like One of my favorites, Batman Under the Red Hood, which is about one of my favorite anti-villains, Jason Todd, is the Red Hood, who I wish that they would put this into a movie because they, they don't need to do the Joker that often. I mean, I'm just... 
How'd you do that? Because it's funny. You know this is funny? Ha, you missed. Ron, this can be the award. I'm so lucky. I'm sleeping in the period. Ah. Well, you can use this for the Halloween reward. Are you sure? Well, what else would the award be? Yeah. So, now we're going to go and figure out who wins the costume contest. And being that Jared and the other person, can't think of his name right now, are not here. I got their folks. So, this is the other person's. This is Jared's. This one's mine. What's yours? I voted for the librarian. Oh, okay. So we got two for Lydia, just one for me. I voted for Banana Boy. Oh, we got one for Banana Boy and one for me and two for Lydia. I got Lydia. Oh, Lydia wins. So, here's our prize. All these lovely ingredients. You get to sell them again because... Yay! This time I want 50% of that. I'm not so if you get banana pill, I want half of it. Second place. I guess I'll have it to you. Here you go. You happy now? That, that's my backpack, Ron. No, no, no I it's gave not. it to her. But it, you want to trade with you? No. I think I'm happy with but these. But that's my backpack. Well, you can get it back if you pay for it. Pay for it? It's my backpack. So? Well, you'll have to buy all the pins. At the consignment sale. How much are they? For my pins? 99 cents. For each? Yes. My wallet's in my backpack. I can that. sell that too. With my money in it? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I won the costume contest. Oh man, all these pens. They're so great. And I won it with like this wizard costume. And it's just so hey, hey, Lydia, nice job winning the costume contest. Oh, uh, thank you. You have an amazing librarian outfit, and I was wondering if I can have my pins back. I am a librarian! And these pins are mine. And those are my pins! Ah! <sighs> Even though I got most of my pins stolen, and my backpack I had to buy a whole new one again, this trophy means a lot to me, actually. You did... We got second place. Good job, champ. So, whatever that means. Thank you all for watching The Real, September to Fall Edition.